Good evening, everyone. Welcome to St. Mark's. Our opening hymn is number 653 in the Breaking Bread. If you all could please rise as we begin our Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. We gather on this weekend as we celebrate our Lord's resurrection. As we enter into our sacred mysteries, we gather acknowledging our sins, and we ask for the Lord's mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. You raise us all to newness of life. Lord, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter Zion. 
Shout for joy, O daughter, O daughter Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you. A just savior is he, meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foal of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bowl shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, brothers and sisters. You are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit, if only the Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord.
mysteries of your kingdom. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus exclaimed, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. For although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to little ones. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom he wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. As I said in my homily a few weeks back, um, after I came back home, uh, that my parents' house is a hub for family parties, and at family parties, there are plenty of kids. All my nieces and nephews, and now all my cousins have nieces and nephews, so the family parties are continuing even though I'm out here, but I'm hearing some stories of that's what's happening at the family parties. So one of my, uh, one of my cousins came in from L.A., and he has uh, two little ones. Or no, I'm sorry. I think he's three or four, forgive me if he's listening to this, but I think, I think it's four, let's just go with four. Um, but his name is Abram, and my parents have a dog named Chief. And of course, like any dog, carries around you know, the raw hide in his mouth. So anytime he sees one of the kids, he always has the raw hide in his mouth, and then he'll lay down and the raw hide's on the floor. He, it's like a security blanket for a dog. You know how, how these raw hides work. Well, Abram looks at his father, and he, he says, um, and, and Abram asked his father, what is that? And he said, well, that's Chief's bone. And so he, Abram looks all perplexed. He's, you know, three, four years old. And he's like, how is that possible? How did it get out of him? <laughs> he's like, no, it, they call it a bone. It's not his actual bone. So anyway, but uh, something cute about, you know, the childlike, but he's open to learning. He's open to, you know, learning from his dad, you know, what? A rawhide is, and yes, we're also, we also call it a bone for a dog. Uh, but I think that, you know, in the gospel, he has revealed the things to the childlike, because guess what? Tr children are open to learning. They're open to growing and developing, and they, us adults, the learned people, we have our minds made up sometimes, or we are just too set in our ways, and if the Lord's calling us to this, that, and the other thing, we could just say, well, no, I have this all figured out, when, of course, we don't. We just don't want to grow. We don't want to learn. We don't want to grow in the faith that the Lord wants to do it, because we're all set. He wants us to be like that sponge and be curious. We can't lose our curiosity the older that we get, especially when it comes to this, because the faith goes so much deeper than what we learn is when we're kids, and if we're not open to it, then we just stay at that surface level. So uh, hopefully we have that curiosity with the faith and, and with our beliefs and what the church teaches uh, so we can keep going deeper and deeper and not be like the learned who just have no care for it. And we know that you know, all the intellectuals in the world say, well, we don't need church because, you know, it's just a fairy tale. No, it's not. Let us be like children and, and learn and gnaw, on the, and gnaw on the faith, gnaw on the church's teachings, going a little bit deeper. We might learn something a little bit more about ourselves and our relationship with our Heavenly Father. And we stand together as one family in faith, and we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In trust and confidence, we bring our prayers and petitions to our loving Father. For the church, may God help us to be, may God help us in being meek and humble warriors for Christ. We pray to the Lord. For all who lead governments and communities, may the Lord grant them wisdom in serving their people. We pray to the Lord. For those who battle addiction and substance abuse, may the Holy Spirit grant them strength and fortitude. We pray to the Lord. For our faith community here at St. Mark's, may the love of Jesus inspire us in taking up his yoke. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for all who have died and for all that died today, especially for Robert Fonten, for whom this mouse is offered that they may be welcomed by the angels into heaven. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for the prayers on our prayer line and for those that we voice in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We ask all of these things through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory hymn is number 534. Make me a channel of your peace Where there is hatred, let me bring your love There is injury or part of Lord And where there's doubt, true faith in you Make me a channel of your peace despair in life let me bring hope where there is darkness only light and where there's sadness ever joy oh master grant that I may never seek so much to be consoled as to console Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and purify us, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all of its wonder to rule in your name over all that you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. <clears throat> holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time that he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he himself took bread into his hands. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Mark, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin. 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us turn to one another and offer the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion hymn is number 346.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And our closing hymn is number 378.